Well guys, the bomb has been dropped, and it's now no longer officially Sidus Heroes, but Cetus Heroes. Cetus Heroes. So here's a quick Sidus Heroes, Cetus Heroes update on the state of the game, the IDO, and what happens next. So there's a bit of FUD around the IDO with the staking of Milk 2 token on Space Swap. Dan Kamenko, the CEO of Sidus, is also the founder of Space Swap. The issue was an apparent lack of transparency or just simple confusion around the ability to enter the IDO with your staked tokens. Honestly, I'm not going to show it because I honestly don't care about the drama. The point is they're working on it and ironing out the kinks as they go. So on Telegram, Milk2 staking start Monday, December 13th. The start will be given. Follow the updates in the socials to not miss it. You need to have a minimum of 5,000 Milk2 staked before registering to be eligible to take part in the sale. No rush. We provide no limits to the number of stakers. However, registration start Tuesday, December 14th. The day before, we will provide a time slot when registration will be announced. As soon as we announce the official start of the registration stage, you may register immediately. Remember, there are 1,000 participant slots for each Sidus and Senate sale. You need to be among the first 1,000 to register for each event. Sale Wednesday, December 15, exact time, TBA. They initially had it at 500 and then they moved it to 1,000. I think there was some sort of complaints about that. And the price of uh, milk to token, the staking token from SpaceSwap has kind of bounced all over the place. You need a minimum of 5,000 tokens. So at today's price, that's just under 2,500 bucks. So if it's anything like most projects, it will pump crazy, dump, cool off, and then generally rise up again. So if you're down for the signing up and lining up to stake for the IDO, you can probably make a quick flip on tokens and cash in. Sidus and Senate to be listed on Gate.io Exchange. We'd like to announce the upcoming listing of the two Sidus Heroes native tokens, Sidus and Senate, will be listed on the Gate.io Exchange December 15th at 15.15 p.m. UTC. Trading pairs will be available as Sidus USDT and Senate USDT. Please follow the main information about the two tokens. So the Senate token is the governance token. Um, there's going to be 300 million Senate tokens. There's your contract ID. I'm not going to read that. <laughs> now, users, will, users holding this token will be able to express their political views and influence the development of the project. Voting power will be proportionate to the number of tokens each user has. Senate token holders will be able to create fractions, uh, factions and manage them by holding vote. I, yeah, factions, factions. Create fractions and manage them by holding votes. Take part in the project voting to steer the game development process, the purchase of game items, etc. Purchase spaceships, modules for space stations, and land plots, which is not possible with the slightest tokens. It's interesting to note that voting power will be proportioned to the number of tokens each user has. So there's going to be some whale manipulation. It's pretty transparent there on the direction of the game based on one's wealth. So, like reality, <laughs> like politics in the real world. Sidus in-game token. Blockchain Ethereum, uh, 30 billion Sidus. Token contract ID. Sidus is a gaming token that will be used widely within the game, in the Sidus marketplace, and as a reward token. Sidus will be widely used for in-game payments for all professions and roles. A mechanism exists for irreversibly burning the coin with in-game spending, which permanently reduces the token issue. The percentage burn with each coin purchase is set by the voters. It's kind of interesting because in the real world, when you spend money, it's not burnt. If I go to the market and get some horseshoes from the blacksmith, he doesn't burn the money. Just a thought. Sidus token holders will be able to purchase heroes from Sidus collections and the gear for them. Pets from the Sidus collections. Can't wait for that. That's going to be fun. Can't wait to get a pet Sidus dragon. Resources, tools, consumables, loot boxes. On the 7th for the the Sidus Heroes project will also be conducting its IDO. Total of seven launch pads. So it's not only Space Swap, but we've got also Cedify Fund, GameFi, Polka Foundry, Trustpad, Blocktopia. But after that, at this point, 
the play, I think, is to grab the Sidus and send it tokens on gate IO after they cool down if you're bullish on the long term vision of the game. One day, 12 hours, 59 minutes, 46 seconds. Interesting to note that Space Swap is in the actual DeFi ecosystem of the game itself. We have a lot of business partners who are joining our project as well. Um, and because of our Sidus game and because our Sidus game is such a massive metaverse, that includes so many different aspects, um, Spacewalk is getting a substantial benefit. And it will continue to do so because Spacewalk is the part of the Cytos. Uh, Spacewalk will essentially provide many DeFi services that have already been tested by you guys um, to those uh, community members that are joining right now our ecosystem. And, um, you know, Spacewalk is very privileged to be a part of such a, an amazing and uh, extraordinary game because the game itself will be a triple a ubisoft level game with many variations of opportunities inside and um, you know an in-game economics where there will be a lot of uh, use cases for the DeFi services created by the space swap community and so on and so on and so on so there's the space swap twitter which you can follow which tells you about all their updates with the token i'm not gonna lie the trailer was a bit odd, particularly the voiceover, both the strange quality and the accent of the voice and the choice of words, nature, resources, life, like what exactly is the storyline here? Overall, I'm still long-term bullish on this project. I think the early FUD of the clunkiness of the IDO will dissipate, and if the game is good, then many new people will come on board and play, and the moment will be totally forgotten. As far as the trailer, well, it's a trailer, and trailers aren't gameplay. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it either. The cinematics are fantastic, but the other present, some of the other presentation qualities seem to need a bit more polish. In my opinion. Further updates here. On January 10th, 2022, a closed Sidus Heroes beta version will be launched. This version will be only available to holders of NFT Heroes from the NFT Genesis collection. So if you have one of the original Sidus Heroes that are out there on OpenSea right now, You'll be able to qualify for that. On January 23rd, 2022, a public beta version of the game will be released. At this point, the Cytus Heroes game will be available to holders of the NFT from the Genesis and the Academy NFT collections. The sale of the Academy NFT collection will start at the end of December 2021. So that's my Cytus update for today, guys. As always, wealth is a game. Get to level 10 and have a rich day. Talk to you soon.